Hello and welcome. My name is John Hobby and this is just a kickback holiday season. It's kicking off here. I wanted to show you guys all of the chips I have. This is very informal. It's a kickback, chilling with John kind of a video, so there's no structure here. And I have no idea what I'm going to show you, but I do want to show you. I'm going to rotate the camera off because right now I'm on a tripod and it's kind of behind the scenes as well uh, to a table with some more chips on it. So let me rotate you around here. These are just some loose chips I have kicking around. Um, down here, you'll see I have some other boxes. I'll roll these in front of the camera and we'll have more of a discussion about these. So there's some chips here. Um, I kind of like behind the scenes, you can see Tascam. This is my digital audio recorder right now, which is connected to a small diaphragm microphone. You can see a light stand back there. That's how I light the place. I'm wearing a Seiko Monster Watch. It's getting kind of on the too big for me size, but I like it anyway. Like I said, behind the scenes, I can talk about whatever I want to talk about, so I will. Uh, so you can see some cards there, some more chips. We'll talk about those. Oh, here are my digital scale, digital calipers. We'll talk about those. I don't know what's in that box. Uh, here are some sets. That's a 300 set of Poker Knights, uh, the Next Gen Pro. I think I call those next gen pro gen in videos, but whatever. They're next they're next gen pros. And another set down there. And you can see my green set down there. There's a box up there. Anyway, I'll show you all that stuff. That's on a separate table. Uh, back to the main table here. Let's uh, move through some of this stuff. I'm actually gonna click this camera over into manual focus mode so it doesn't change focus on me. All right. Tiki King, one of my favorite all-time chips. A lot of people I play with constantly are just like, why do we play with anything else other than these tiki chips? Yeah, they're lovely ceramic. Uh, it took a few weeks for them to come in, meaning when I ordered them on BR Pro Poker, I had to wait a few weeks. Majestics love these. I'm still debating whether I want to get some more of these. I know I say that so much, but it, it, it seriously, I mean, I have so much stuff coming through here. It's hard for me to actually buckle down and order a complete set. Some more Majestics. These are the $25 denominations. And I'm going to kind of move through a lot of this pretty quickly as <laughs> there is so much to cover. All right, here's some more Next Gen Pro. I'm actually going to put these back on this side. And there's no room. These might be some of the extra ones that I got. Yeah, sometimes I just get more than a set, so I'll get 330, 350, because I like some loose chips kicking around. If my sets are out on loan or if, you know, they're put away somewhere, I can still have some to discuss in reviews. Pioneer Club. Um, I like these chips. Uh, I like the Dunes more. I know in the video on the Dunes, I wasn't super thrilled about them. I wasn't jumping up and down like, oh my gosh, these are the best things ever. Everybody go buy these. Uh, I just ordered some Horseshoe Casino Paulson chips. I think that was when the review was coming out. So I was kind of like spoiled about this Paulson thing. I was like, oh, these are Paulsons are so nice. And so these were kind of like, uh, you know, but I love these chips. These would be highly, highly recommended. I really like them. So Dunes, you know, it will probably be on my ooh, top five easily. I'm wondering, I'm thinking if it's in my top three poker chips, I would recommend to people. It might be in my top three. Uh, maybe, I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll make a separate video just rating every poker chip that I've ever handled. So really nice Dunes. I, for some reason, when I made that video, I was kind of like not too impressed with them, but I love these chips. Scroll ceramics. These uh, these are a fun chip. Seem to be pretty well made. These are one of my favorite trick stacks because there's no powder on these ever. So I can sit in front of my computer. I can play with these, not worry about them. I'm covering my hands with powder while I'm eating or something. Yeah, I'm kind of a slob in front of the computer. And other things. Let's see. I'm, see, I'm just trying to clear stuff out here right now. I got so much stuff. Here's my on-off puck from a craps table. Now you'll notice I'm on a review table. I don't have a poker table right now or a craps table because the ones I had in Ohio were custom built by me because we had a child. All right. And so I'm looking around and like all the, I don't know if you know, but vinyl, like the fake leather faux leather vinyl is often covered with some sort of coloration or paint that has lead in it, like with purses. And I just didn't want to expose my son to that. And so, you know, I built it myself. Yes, I'm qualified. I know some pretty basic joinery. I can get things together without any screws. I can upholster things. It's not, you know, rocket science. As one of my friends who is a rocket scientist at New Mexico says, rocket science isn't exactly rocket science. 
who knew? Who knew? I guess <laughs> the, an expression versus reality. Either way. So, you know, I had to do that there and I probably will do that again. I need a genuine leather that was lead free or as lead free as possible. So Milano's, these are just a staple. I, I still, these are just so readily available and such a great chip. I still think I, if somebody comes to me, so what kind of chip should I buy? You know, I would point them towards these right now. And what are we looking at here? Desert heat, you'll see plenty of these. I'm just rolling through these. Uh, I'm again trying to make some space here. I'm gonna get some stuff off my table. I have two bags of broken chips. Now these chips have been chopped, shot, broken by me. Uh, like you can see one right here. This one, this guy right here has been shot with a 45. So, you know, I mean, I just keep them in bags, trying to keep all the little pieces together. I, Chips, chips are people too, you know. They will die if you shoot them with a gun. So, barrels. Uh, these are wonderful china clays. Um, I stick with what I said about these. These aren't my favorite. I'd probably go with the Majestics over these. Just a personal thing. That was a terrible shuffle. Sometimes, you know, you uh, can't. You have to do trouble shuffling here. Bicycle chips. These are better these are non-metal insert bicycle chips these are way better than the old serrated ones you know what i'm talking about the interlocking ones um these are not bad at all i i like these more than dice chips because they're not as heavy just my opinion but you know would i recommend these to people probably not unless you're like <laughs> 15 and you have a budget of like 10 bucks i probably wouldn't recommend these and let's see what else are we looking at here. More Milanos. Gosh, these are so great. I can't wait to finish a craps table. I'm thinking about just breaking down and spending the money and buying some walnut. Walnut is such a nice wood, one of my favorites. Okay, uh, here's a Amazon, uh, one that's available on Amazon. This is Casino del Sol. I think the vendor's Da Vinci or something, I forget. Either way, these chips I may make a review about. They're, they're okay as a chip for not a lot of money but you know if this is your budget these might be an okay option i will talk about maybe talk about that in a separate video my headset totally just bumps into this light i'm standing up because i have so much to move around here here's some next gen pro um, i love these but i think i'd go with dunes over these if i had to choose now those dunes are a nice chip here's a mint set of chips. Uh, these are made by Claysmith, and I'm not, it's funny, I can't, there's no depth perception through the, the viewfinder here. Um, these uh, mint chips are representative of a lot of the uh, Claysmith poker chips. Does that make sense? Like this coloration plus the Poker Knights give you a pretty good idea of the whole range of the Poker Knights set. So, uh, that said, I'd like these chips as representative as representatives of the Claysmith lines. They're not terrible. I can see why people would buy these and be perfectly happy with them. If I had to play with these, I'd be fine with it. You know, would I buy them? You know, uh, you know, I, why when there are other things that I like more for? You know, not too much more. Looking at that Dune set again. Gosh, I keep bringing those up. Pharaohs. Again, these are lovely. These are very well thought out. I, I have huge respect for anybody that goes out and buys these. The chip set itself is very well thought out, a wonderful set. It's just a purely a stylistic thing for me. Design, whatever it may be. The, oh, the never-ending discussion about style versus fashion. Style is you know, universal choices. Well, fashion is just trends, whatever. It's interesting how every, every aspect of our culture has you know, a kind of a lot of roots to it. I was surprised. More mint poker chips. Now I like the five, I like the color on these fives a lot more than the poker knights. Reaching blindly over here, just grabbing at chips. Ha, got one. So you can see the color difference here. I love the mint coloration way more than the poker knights. Either way, get these out of the way. And I totally just kicked the tripod. You see the things that happen behind the scenes. Other things that are crowding my table. Ooh, win. Dice. The win's an interesting place. Uh, it's, uh, you feel like a million bucks at the win and they charge you for it. 
And I don't have a problem with that. I almost expect it. You get what you pay for, right? So for me, I don't have a problem. But every now and then you meet somebody who complains about the win. I hate the win. They charge me for a higher floor. They charge me for this. They charge me for that. Okay, you know, the win's not for everybody. But for me, I really love the win. It's just one of my favorite resorts in Las Vegas. Moving around. And again, this is my... Uh, my review table. So here, I, I'm going to move the camera. So brace yourself. There is going to be some movement here. Uh, so there is kind of some space up here. And I'm just trying to make some room to get to those chip trays. So I'm just plowing through some of this stuff right here. I'm going to readjust the camera and move through this. Oh, my battery is going to die here soon too. All right. Well, I might have to charge. I might have to take a break here and charge that. Either way, uh, dice chips, not the end of the world if you have dice chips. I still have some of these. I have a box of these that I gave to a friend. And he was, you know, very <laughs> very nice. He's like, oh, I'll just consider them on loan. No, I, I wanted to get rid of them, so he has them. So hopefully <laughs> I don't see hundreds and hundreds of these coming back to me. But you never can tell. Again, pulling some stuff down here. Pharaohs. We've, you've already seen the pharaohs. Desert heat. I think these are a Clay Smith design as well. You can see very, you know, representative of the brand. What do we have here? Horseshoe Casino. I purchased these on a forum. I think it was Poker Chip Forum, something like that. Lovely website. I'd be more active on those sites if I uh, had more time. I just, <laughs> seriously, so busy with life and family. Uh, important life tip. I'm, I'm not trying to make this into a lecture series or anything, but. I feel that's important that people pursue their interests and what's important to them, right? So uh, in my work, sometimes I talk to like very wealthy people and sometimes they are unhappy. They're like, I can't believe, you know, my, my family's so unhappy and my daughter, you know, I gave her, you know, I'm just making up numbers now, like a hundred thousand plus, like let's say $250,000. I gave my daughter $250,000 and she blew it in three weeks. What's going on? How could my life be so terrible? And I'm like, you know, it's hard work. If you want to have a happy family life, you have to work hard at it. It's just one of those things in life where you need to pursue your passions. And I support people in that, you know, and uh, money isn't the answer. You can't just buy off a happy family. Oh, well, my family's not happy. I'll just give them money. That's not going to make them a happy family. This is part of a sample set. I'm going to set this aside here until I see that. Coin inlay. These things are massively heavy. Uh, an interesting chip. But yeah, so, yeah. I got lots to say about that, but I'll spare you the full, my all my thoughts about that. Um, wealth and working hard towards your passions. You can't just buy it, right? It's like, you want to be a wine connoisseur? You can't just be like, <laughs> well, I'll just drop a lot of money and buy a lot of wine, and then you still will have, you know, I mean, the subtle differences, you'll just elude you. Nevada Jack. Now, this is a chip set that I don't, maybe give enough attention to. It's a wonderful design, maybe a little bit vulgar, but it's interesting in the Old West kind of mentality. You know, it's funny, as I look at this, the story of the uh, the shooting of the, you know, the dead man's hand, what was the, I'm trying to remember the name of the gentleman who was murdered. Wild Bill Hickok, that's who it was. I'm thinking about this story and I'm looking around. One of One of the things I do it's just one of my hobbies, and you can tell by some of my videos, is I kind of like guns, right? And I was <laughs> sitting on the table where I'm putting my poker chips is this little magazine right here. Yeah, it's loaded. I am, I am building a custom AR, and I need to take some more shots with it. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to get out to the range and shoot it. But it's just funny how, like, you know, I can't be too critical about how vulgar this is. Oh, he's smoking. It's like, yeah, you go to Vegas and play everybody's smoking. Dead man's hand. Oh, it's representative of guns and violence. Not that I shoot people. I'm very, I'm very nonviolent. But uh, the, uh, the vulgar aspect of it hasn't escaped me. So Nevada Jack, uh, super interesting. I, I really love the colors, the execution of this chipset. It's just a matter of, you know, yeah, it's just a matter of what am I going to buy and the Tiki Kings one out. Scrolls. See, this is another chip set that I, you know, I'm, I'd be perfectly happy with a set of scrolls. Move, we're going to move through a little bit qu more quickly here. Ace Casino. Uh, I don't like these. I'm not going to make a video about them. Uh, if they're a good chip, 
and I hate them, I'll make a video. If they're a bad chip and everybody loves them, I'll make a video. But these Ace Casino chips, I'm sorry, I just... I'm not going to waste everybody's time by making a video about these to just tell you how much I don't like them. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of time. So here's a larger. So th these are the bold class. This is part of a sample set I'll show you. And you can see this is like a 39, 40 millimeter chip. This is like a 43 millimeter chip and it's ridiculously huge, the crown laurel. It's like at some point you just need to go with a plaque. You know what I mean? I don't like the huge chips like that. Having different stacks of them. Yeah, I like things that you can mix and match. Here's some... Monte Carlo chips. This is a fine metal insert chip set. Not, you know, the weight is not one of my favorite things. All right, now we're getting to a little bit more space here. We're gonna roll in some Majestic little trick stacks I have kicking around. Uh, like I said, I love the Majestics. Solid, solid China clay. Uh, sometimes I get too wrapped up in little imperfections. Like you can see some color differentials right here. Uh oh, here's a broken ship that hasn't. This it needs a home. It needs to go in the bag of other broken ships. After the video, pharaohs right here. More pharaohs, more china clays. All right, now we're getting into. Oh, cut card. Here's some leftover broken ships. All right, horseshoe casino. Love these chips. Oh my gosh, you forget how nice Paulsons are. Like really well, like casino style. I clean these off basically just in soap and water. I could still clean them off a little bit more. Uh, like I said, part of my permanent collection. It's a lovely, uh, lovely thing just to have some Paulsons. I'm glad that these were made available. I wish I could have bought some more, but that I actually have money set aside for when Paulson releases some more consumer grade chips. Here's another one that I broke. This was off camera. I just, you know, seeing how durable those chips are. Yeah, I play with the chips a lot before I bring you a video. Introduce them to friends, see what they have to say about them. So I like uh, having some experience. Sometimes I'll make a first impressions video. More Las Vegas metal insert chips, ceramic scrolls. Here's a sample set of coin inlay. Again, super heavy and to a point of almost being obnoxious. One of my friends, when I first brought those over, he was like, I think these are discontinued desert palms. I have the worst thing. Now, something else that you're gonna notice, and I can't believe I'm saying this, you know, 18 minutes into my video. I don't have a traditional poker chip collector's collection of poker chips, right? So people will usually have something from, oh, this is 1954, you know, from this, from this casino. This is a 1965 Pioneer Club, genuine, you know, casino, and they'll, they'll have all these interesting and rare poker chips. That's not my collection, you'll notice. The, I'm very <laughs> dedicated to finding the best poker chip sets in the world that are in current production available in the United States. And so you see a lot of very common poker chips. And I have, you know, 50 of them, usually minimum, and a sample set. And so <laughs> it's not something that I'm like super proud of. And a lot of these poker chips, people just be like, you know, they're not that amazing. And you're right, they're not that amazing. It's just me genuinely looking for the best poker chip sets in the world that are available today in the United States. So uh, that's what you see. And sometimes you get chips that are just discontinued like that. Here's some Las Vegas chips. We're gonna set these up here. Running out of room already. Okay, Pioneer Club again, great material. I love Pioneer Club. More Milano's. We're to a point now where we're just gonna give you a brief look at things. Here's Pharaoh inlay off. And now we're gonna move into some of these trays right here. Um, this looks like we are just sample sets. I like to keep my sample sets in these trays so I can try to keep track of them. Here's the Dune sample set. You can see the Pioneer Club sample set. Uh, they're, they're like the same material square edges, beautiful chips, great weight, very playable. Dunes and Pioneer Club, I can recommend either one. Key West, uh, I don't know about the Key West Club. I love the way they feel, they're unique. They offer an interesting kind of a novelty to uh, the chipset world, which is fine, you know. That's good, I'm glad that somebody makes them. I think they're made by ASM. More horseshoe chips. 
desert heat underneath here it looks like we have a spare horseshoe uh, majestics you already know i love majestics more desert heat chips oh man we got tons of stuff here pharaohs <laughs> wow i'm just gonna start stuffing things in here i'm running out of room everybody there's just not tons of room pharaohs more las vegas chips and every now and then I'll do an inventory and try to like sort all this stuff out, but it just never goes well and I end up messing everything up or my three-year-old will miraculously find his way in here with mom and he'll be given all sorts of stuff to play with. Here, play with these. So desert palms, like I said, are discontinued, but I still have stacks and stacks of them. <clears throat> Let's see what else is next here. More... Las Vegas Casino, Pharaohs, lovely chipset. Look at all of these desert palms. Desert palms right here, huge stack. And then up here, desert palms, huge stack. This looks like the sample set. Yep, this is the sample set. Desert palms, desert palms, desert palms, awesome. The China clay desert palms, guess what? Discontinued, all right, we'll move those up there. And the last two stacks right here, same thing, desert palms. All right, now those are out of the way. Let's <laughs> move on to some more of these. Oh dear, sometimes I still have just rolls of chips kicking around. I think I've done this review already, the Las Vegas Casino Club chips. These are pending and I haven't opened them. Yeah, sometimes that just happens. Now we're gonna move into, this looks like my ceramic sample set. And again, lots of this stuff is genuinely stuff I play with when I get a new set in. So like when I'm comparing ceramics, I have my little sample set of Tiki's, you know, Nile Club, Nevada Jack. So I can compare textures. Here's the bold class. Where was that bold class? I need to put that in here. Eh, whatever. Uh, the Dragons, Valentino. Um, these are Chipco Classic. These are something that I compare a lot of chips to. And more Nevada Jack, some more Chipco Classic. Nile Club, Chipco Classic, Paulson. What is this? Uh, Nile Club, Chipco Classic. These are some of the Casino del Sol metal insert chips. These are just some metal insert chips. Oh, here's Arc, um, the Arc type chips. These are the ones that I was comparing. That's why they're in here. These are the ones I was comparing to the uh, Chipco Classic with the little white border around the outside. I might make a little impressions video about these. And yeah, arc, yeah, arc type, interesting. All right, moving on. Uh, not gonna spend a lot of time on this. This is my Monte Carlo chip rack. You can see sample set right here. I think I have a video out on these. Here's one of my favorite racks right here. This is my Paulson rack. You can see some World Top Hat and Cane. These, these are classic, you know, chip, or uh, Paulson classic. Here's some sample sets from World Top Hat and Kane and Classic. That's World Top Hat and Kane. Oh, these are my Vegas chips. Occasionally I'll bring some chips home from Vegas. And this is, yeah, Bellagio. All right. Bicycle, more Paulsons here, 500, 1000s. Paulsons sure feel nice. All right, let's try to roll some more in here. My battery is barking at me. This battery is going to die. All right. I'll shut it down here in a little bit. Uh, we have we have some pharaohs right here. Uh, some more ceramics samples from Desert Heat. I still yeah samples from Scroll sample from Nile Club. This is the sample Venerati set, old class samples from other BR Pro Poker lines, Lucky Dragon, Valentino. Oh, I don't like these EPT chips. They're just the knockoff EPT chips. I can't support that. I'm just not a big fan. Crown Laurel chips. Some more ceramics and some pharaohs there. Majestics, Nile Club, pretty straightforward. Dunes. Ah, one day I might end up with a set of these. It's hard to say. Pioneer Club, Next Gen Pro. Here's some mint samples right here. You can go watch that video if you want. Yep, and there we have it. More, uh, more uh, of 
these dunes chips. Last rack, and then we're gonna move into sets. This almost concludes all my loose chips. Some crown laurel chips. Yeah, like I said, we play with these. Like we'll I'll play one on I'll play heads up with somebody and various other things with the chips just to get a feel for them, see how they do. Uh, the lack of denominations, like being very clear, you know, isn't a huge thing, but you know, people will comment on it. Uh, this is the Nevada Jack samples right here. Some scroll, Nile Club, Lucky Dragon, some more just I got so many. Um, poker chip sets here. Looks more like the Venerati right there. Crown Laurel. Anyway, um, I'm gonna charge my battery and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're looking at stuff that was on the table here. These are some cards. What are we looking at here? B, bicycle, ooh, bicycle interlocking chips. Don't recommend those. Some Las Vegas tourist trash I haven't opened. Cards, cards, cards. Chem bridge sized cards. And down here we are looking at, what are we looking at here? Bicycle. Dice chips and some cards. That's all that's in here. Oh, there they go, all over everywhere. So this is just full of my bicycle and dice chips. Occasionally, like something will come with like a free poker chip and gets thrown in here with my not so awesome chips. That's all that's in here. All right, throw my cards back in here. Let's move on to the next box. And that brings us to Roman times. Uh, this is my, these are my samples. I already made a video about these. Uh, the next gen material. I call it next gen. Um, sometimes they're sold as like true clay or something, but whatever. I, for me, it's easier to keep track of it if I call it the next gen material, which is very similar to this material. <laughs> my, my boys' toys are everywhere here. SD card. Slot. Anyway, move on to the next box here. Okay, it looks like this is a container here full of plaques, plaques. Uh, some of my friends love plaques. I'm still not sure. I kind of like them. I just don't know. I'm trying to get more experience before I make videos about them, like in-depth reviews. These are very much a European style thing. Like you see James Bond with plaques all the time in Europe. So I don't know, maybe someday we'll try to dive into that. These are my craps, Milano's, a lot of them. They, uh, here's some dice chip plaques. Um, these are just waiting for a home. And I, like I said earlier, I'm gonna build a custom craps and poker table out here in Georgia. So I'll probably make videos about that when I make them, you'll see. We'll see what I make them out of. I'm still debating what kind of material. Do I want to make them out of oak or like a really rich walnut? I don't know. We'll see. Subscribe and you'll be sure to see. Let's move on to the next package here. All right, these are, this is the Mahjong card deck. Here's the win cards. I might actually open these up. Uh, some notes about these. these are only awesome for me. Look, you can see how much I paid for them. Too much. They sell these all over, like eBay and stuff, gold cards. These happen to say win on them. Here, let me just pull this one out. Oh no. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, and so for me, these are kind of cool. I like the win, so they're a good souvenir. Uh, but yeah, like these gold embossed cards, you can find for pretty cheap on Amazon and eBay, and they're not that, you know, rare. But the win branded ones, I like, so. There we have it. <laughs> uh, what's in here? I have no idea. Gun stuff. Nope, poker chips, all right. This is uh, my, I started to dive into custom poker chips and I ordered uh, some samples from a nameless company and they arrived loose in this box. Okay, and this represents half the ones I ordered because the rest of them were all chipped up beyond recognition. It was, this was full of powder, which was really disappointing. And so you can see on some of these, even you can see that I'm not sure if they're going to show up here on my camera, but you can see like chips and stuff. I'm not sure. Like right here, there's a massive chip. 
and they were just unusable. And so that turned me off to some custom poker chips and the whole custom poker chip idea is still kind of being toyed with and I don't know, you know, exactly if these kind of chips are gonna do it for me. Yeah, they feel great. They have a nice chalky feel, but again, you know, China clays do as well. The other thing that concerns me is there's like width thickness issues. So you can see, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up, but you can see the blue chips right here are thinner than the green chips. What's going on with that? I mean, come on. These are non-metal insert, um, just crappy chips. I, I'm kind of, yeah, disappointed at this. Anyway, that's why I haven't made a video about those. Still working on it. Still working on some designs, and if I ever come out with some custom chips, I'll bring you along the full, the full thing, right? The whole, the whole gamut of designing a chip and making it a reality. Next, we have this case right here. This is like a 550 case for cards, but I made it 600 chip case here. Um, oh dear, I don't like this case. Uh, it falls apart. You can see I actually put some. I put some webbing here to clip it in place because these latches don't hold the weight of these chips. This is my set of 300 Pioneer Club that I still play with occasionally. Um, it's kind of a loner set. And then these are my Next Gen Pro set. Again, a set of 300 of these. these this is my travel set. So lots of times I'll just take this case. Um, if I want to loan this out, I'll, I'll put these in another case or I'll put these in my Nanook case, I'll show you that here in a minute. Is that how you say it? I don't know, whatever. You'll see the case in here in a minute. I hate these cheap little $20 cases. I hate them. Um, there's some better ones out there. I'll make videos about them. I, I had I showed you my custom camera case that I turned into a poker chip case, but there are a couple of um, all right poker chip cases out there. Anyway, I'm not super happy, like particularly the greens and the reds. I just don't like the colorations and the weight of the poker nights. Uh, the pro gens I like, the, pro, the next gen pro I like more anyway that's those are that's my set right here and let's get this out of the way and let's move on all right next we have this box right here johnston and murphy um this is it's funny this um the shoes that actually came in here are right here they're due for a polish and so they're actually sitting on the stool that i normally sit on but in this box i keep this is where i keep all my cards you can see some tourist trash here. These are the French ones. Design, Modiano. I really like the Modiano. Uh, the Modiano, the Chem, uh, Copag, all of those cards I can play with interchangeably, and that doesn't, I love them. I mean, what can I say? I don't like these clear cards. They do seem awfully gimmicky. I just never pull them out of here. I have like, you know, here in Atlanta, the, the home of Coca-Cola. Of course I have you know, Coca-Cola. I think I bought these actually in Vegas at the coca-cola store and this is also where i keep my like tourist trash bellagio luxor you know the pre the actually casino used chips that they sell as tourist trash all right well that's that box you know nothing special here's an unopened bicycle set somewhere down there all right uh, you guys have seen the, those playing cards before Something that I collect, I collect sports cards, um, but occasionally I have a spare box and I'll fill it. This is a set of 300 coin inlay chips. And I I don't play with these, I don't loan these out. These are just sitting here right now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. Uh, we'll see if I uh, think of something interesting to do with these. I'll, I'll do it, maybe, uh, I don't know shooting an AK-47 video? I don't know. Somebody's like, I'll take them, John. All right, well, we'll see. We will see. It's I don't know how I'd organize a giveaway, but uh, these would definitely be on the list of things that are just in the way. All right, now this is my 500 chip set. This, these are the, the knockoff of the WSOP chips. They're the championship poker series, the CPS chips. Um, I don't know what's going on with these chips. Um, it looked like they were gonna be in consistent production but then it looks like they're not they were a group buy on a poker chip forum i forget which one and i purchased these from apache poker chips but it looks like some of them are discontinued right at the moment i, I just don't know so uh, if you can get them great if not not but yeah this is a 500 chip set i use all the time you can see i have my uh 
Theory 11 Monarchs right here. Just these are just the usual paper bicycle cards, the air cushion finish cards. Here are some plastic Fournier cards. I just threw these in here. I cycle through these, just different sets. But I just threw that in there because it fit. Here's my dealer puck I use all the time. You can see there's like food and grime and stuff etched on there. Either way, this is my uh, probably one of my most used sets, and I love this set. Um, speaking of cases, this is actually a, I think it's a Clay Smith case for 500 chips. These are, it's hard to find these. Sometimes they have them in stock, sometimes they don't. But this is actually one of the better cases. Uh, it seems pretty robust. I haven't had a problem with it flying open. Uh, the handle is pretty solid. I can't, you know, I can really show you this. But the handle's pretty solid and it feels robust. It's not like these flimsy little plastic ones. It actually feels like there's a metal rod in there. Nice solid industrial rubber here. So uh, the Claysmith case is okay. I still like the camera case more. Speaking of which, I think that's next. Oh my gosh, it's bright. Yep, this is the Nano case. I use this for my 300 chip. So this is my second most used set. Barely, I mean, it, they, it's pretty close. I have my old yellowing dealer puck in here. What are these? Del Negro. Lovely plastic face cards and just a little humble set of 300 cards. Um, something that I could do, and I, I've been meaning to do this, I have some stiffer foam that I was going to put underneath here so they don't sag like this because the edges kind of droop off. But I haven't gotten around to cutting it to the right size yet. It, you know how things, man, life just gets busy. Oh, hey, look, I can put these back in here. All right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> now we're back up to the full 300. Anyway, I love this set. This is super useful. Um, it's super compact. It's not like the 500 chip set. Like if I know we're just going to play with some select friends, this is so easy to grab and throw in the trunk. And this camera case is so robust. You know what I mean? It's really... Uh, rock solid. Well, thank you for coming along on my quick journey through my poker chip collection here. It's very much geared towards reviewing common sets available in the United States. That's what it's for. That's why I have all of these is my genuine interest in finding awesome sets. I really respect these men and women who have awesome collections of just rare poker chips and awesome things from the past. And it's so much more interesting, I think, than these chips. This is what you know, I do. So it's very common to me, but it helps me get a better understanding of poker chips, poker chip sets, playing dynamics, and what I'm really looking for in a poker chip set. And it will vary between everybody. I mean, everybody's looking for something different. Hopefully not everybody shares my opinions. Uh, you know, I have some kind of interesting stuff, but I think a lot of people have way more interesting stuff than I do. So I hope this was entertaining. Some good filler video here for poker chip lovers all over the world. And again, you can see from my collection, like I, I really feel humble, like having so many wonderful subscribers. You guys really make this possible. I, I just feel like I'm just some average guy who kind of was wanting to buy some poker chips and was frustrated because there didn't seem like there was any good quality information out there in video format in particular. So I trudged in here and I, it really is a, a wonderful community, the poker poker community. So thank you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave your comments. Tell us what your favorite poker chip set is. The next time I sit down and do something really laid back, I'll probably just go through all of the chips I have, which will change over time, and talk about my ranking of all of the chips that I have. Like if I were to just sit down with the chips I have and rate them from my favorite to my least favorite, go through the whole gamut of everything, all of the poker chips. My name is John Hobby. Have a wonderful holiday season.